Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the first thing to do is to check that. Um, it, the first thing to do is to check this. Um, make sure that this thing here heads towards zero as n tends to infinity. So as n tends to infinity, you've got this thing here that that will keep on growing because n is tending to infinity. And then natural log of n, natural log of n. As n tends to infinity, natural log of n will just keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And then here you've got, uh, you've got a square root. So when you square root something that keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger, then the square root of, of something that keeps on getting bigger and bigger will also just keep on getting bigger and bigger. So, so what you've got here is as n tends to infinity, this thing here will just keep on getting bigger and bigger. And then this thing here, the whole square root thing, Will, will, will also keep on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So you've got, as n tends to infinity, you've got the whole denominator that keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So you've got 1 divided by something that keeps on getting bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning the overall thing will keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So the limit is actually 0. So this this here is true. So that's good. So now, now that we've checked this, um, we now want to uh, compare this with this, there's a theorem that says that if the integral diverge, then uh, then this thing will also diverge. If this if the if the integral converge, then this will also converge. We want to make use of that theorem, uh, uh, but in order for us to use that theorem, we need to check these three for for the integral. So we need to check that the in, it, this integral here is continuous um, and uh, and and positive and decreasing. We need to check these three. So the first question is, is this thing continuous? Is it continuous? Well, you asking the question, is it continuous? It's really you asking the question, when will this thing break down? This thing here breaks down when the denominator equals zero. So it breaks down when the denominator equals to zero. But, but let's, let's check that nothing breaks down. Uh, so, so here you've got, you've got a natural log that looks like this. Natural log breaks down when you put a negative into there. But then, but then if you look at this, um, from 2 to infinity, so this is 1 here, this is 2 here, you, from, from 2 to infinity, you, you, you're never ever going to put um, a negative into here, because you're, 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 well, you start at 2, you start at 2, so you, you're never going to put a negative into the natural log. And then the other thing you've got to consider is square root. Square root breaks down when you put a negative in there. Well, well natural log, you starting at Two, you're never going to put a negative into the square root, so that's okay. Uh, when when will the denominator be zero? Well, the denominator will never be zero if you start at two. So 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 the point here is that this thing here will never break down. This thing here is continuous, so this is good. So is it positive? Is it always positive? Well, from two to infinity, yes. It, think about it. It it will be positive. This thing here will be positive. Um, this thing here will be positive. Square root is positive. I'm positive that this will be positive. And and then the next thing is, is it is this thing going to decrease? Is it always decreasing? Well, um, is it always decreasing? Well, we've we've established that this thing here keeps on the denominator keeps on growing and growing as as you head towards infinity. So if, if the denominator keeps on growing, growing, then the overall thing here will will keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yes, it will decrease. So now this 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 is good. This is good. This is good. Now we can apply our theorem. We can uh, because because we've checked these three. We can now apply that theorem. So 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 it boils down to us checking whether this thing here will diverge or if it will converge. If it diverges, then then this thing here will automatically diverge. If this thing here converge, then 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 this the series itself will converge. So it boils down to us asking ourselves, will this thing con converge? Will this thing converge or will it diverge? So let's integrate it from two to uh, infinity. So um so now